Hello there! Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own Ticket2 server. I'm going to show you how you can create the server on your own hardware, like the server PC I built in the first video. And I'm going to show you the entire process. So port forwarding, locking your IP address, installing the mod pack, and actually playing the mod pack. So yeah, let's get straight into it. First off, let's create a new folder on our desktop, like we always do. Just place it over there and call it Ticket to server it's easy to remember then head straight into the link in the description to download ticket server files once you follow the link i put up in the description you'll find the ticket to server download just hit download server or server download sorry and locate your folder you created earlier so ticket to server and save it over there it will start downloading in the top right. As you can see, our server files finish downloading into our Ticket2 server folder. Double click to open it with Rinwar. Choose Extract In and choose your Ticket2 server. Hit OK and wait a couple seconds. After that, you are safe to remove the Rinwar file and hit the Minecraft server.jar. This should add a couple of files. First of all, you have the ULA.txt. Double click it and change the ULA to, sorry, true. Hit save. Final step. We need to run our forge jar file. This created the last couple of files we need to launch our server. So yeah, let's check it out. As you can see, it is actually launching right now. It's launching the mods because Tekkit has a lot of mods baked into the mod pack. So you're basically downloading a like one mod pack that is hosted within tons of other mod packs. So it's just going to be adding and patching those mod packs real quick. This files should now be done generating. It actually took a couple of minutes to be honest. So yeah, just let it run. Uh, until it stops and says something like this. Let's close out this right now and now I'm going to be directing you to my previous video, my Minecraft server tutorial, where I'm actually going to be showing you how you can lock your IP address and port forward your micro settings. I, it is at this time code, I'm leaving it on screen right now. So check out that video, um, it will be in the description and I will try to edit as a pop-up video. But yeah, just check that video please because it's going to be really repetitive if I keep doing the locking IP stuff and the port forwarding stuff over and over again. So yeah, let's please just check, check out that video and come back to the video when you're done with your port forwarding. And you're back and you're done with port forwarding or you already did port forwarding. So perfect. Let's just install our client on our gaming PC right now so we can actually start and play on the server. I am now on my gaming PC as you can see and I'm going to be installing the client for our server. Let's just head into the description and copy the link for the gaming client server. Install Windows right now because I am using Windows. And I will just save it for now on my desktop, it's easiest. As you can see the Technic launcher finished downloading so let's just open it up. And now we are in our ticket launcher. You have a couple different launching options I want to be showing you. So hit launcher options and you can change those settings if you would like it for yourself. But you're going to be heading to, to your Java settings. Here you can change your memory and your Minecraft version. Change your version to the latest 64 bit. And now you can change your memory. Here you can allocate how much memory or RAM your client is actually going to be using. So if you have a really nice computer with let's say just 32 gigs of RAM, I'm actually in my PC using 32 gigs as I will show you really quickly. Uh, let's see, there you go, 32 gigs of RAM. So I'm just going to be putting mine at the maximum 16 gigs. So my Tekkit client runs as smoothly as possible. Okay, if you change that, you can head into the mod pack stuff over here. Then you choose what ticket or what mod pack you're going to be using. I'm choosing ticket 2 because I'm obviously using ticket 2. And I'm going to be 
Okay, I'm sorry, I'm just back. I just needed to log into my tech Minecraft account again because I was not able to install the Tekken mod pack. But when you're in the mod pack section, hit on to Tekken 2 and hit the download button on the bottom right over here. Okay, uh, now our server should be running and we will now click play. As you can see, our Minecraft Tekken launcher is loading up. We just need to wait a couple of seconds before, before it finishes, but I will be right back with you when it is started up. Okay, our Tekken launcher is now loaded up and we can head into multiplayer to add our server. I have already added my server, so I can just hit play and it should start. But if you want to add your server, hit add server, give your server a name, for example, Tech at home server as I have named my server, Tech at home, and add your server address. Server address is the IP address your home server is currently on. So head out into your uh, home server PC and look up what is my IP. If I hit enter, you will see a IP in the middle of your screen. Please copy that IP and paste it into the add server address line over here. When you're done, hit done and then you can actually play on the server. As you can see we load it in right now. I've played a little bit on my server with some friends to make sure it's actually working and running smoothly. But as you can see this is Tekkit, so that's basically it. So Today I've showed you how you can create your own Tekkit 2 modded server. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, because it will help me a lot. I've only gained 4 subscribers as we're speaking. So subscribe will mean the world. And yeah, please leave more video ideas down below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.